The full English breakfast is a traditional English meal. It typically consists of fried eggs, fried bread, back bacon, sausages, tomatoes, and mushrooms. A slice of white or black pudding is also often part of it. This breakfast is served with tea or coffee and hot, buttered toast. It's often called a fry-up, and the name is shortened to Full English in Britain. In this video, we've listed 10 interesting facts about Full English breakfast you probably don't know. Number 1. Not just an English meal anymore Though it originated in England, the Full English breakfast has spread far and beyond. It has different local names in other parts of the United Kingdom and Ireland. They are Full Irish, Full Cornish, Full Scottish, Full Welsh, and Ulster Fry. This breakfast has also found its way to several Commonwealth countries. Number 2. Not Just a Morning Meal The full English breakfast is so popular in the UK and Ireland that many cafes and restaurants offer this meal at any time of day as in all-day breakfast. Number 3. When Full Breakfast Became Rare in UK When eggs and bacon became scarce during the Second World War, full English breakfast fell out of fashion. But when the supplies started restoring after the war, this meal began to return to its past glory. Initially, it was mainly saved for the weekend. Number 4. Churchill Loved It The full English breakfast is one of the most widely loved national meals in the world. Nothing marks Britain's cultural hegemony more than a fry-up. Famous British Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill refused to start the day without having a full English in bed. Number 5. As Popular as Ever A typical full English has approximately 1,190 calories. And despite the increasing trend of more healthier and fashionable alternatives, recent data shows that eggs and bacon sales are on the rise. A significant portion of it goes into making full English. Number 6. It has changed with times Interestingly, the original full English showed little resemblance to modern-day fry-ups. But in the early days, there was no standard ingredients for this meal. But the full English started to have bacon and eggs as its essential ingredients when the working classes adopted these two things as regular ingredients of their breakfast. Number 7. You can tweak it the way you like the basics of the full English breakfast are generally the same, but their varieties are endless. From extravagant brunches served in chic London restaurants to fat Latin fry-ups in greasy spoons, exactly what does or doesn't belong on the plate depends on whom you ask. Number 8. Provides a lot of energy A full English breakfast mostly consists of fat and protein, with a bit of plant fiber included in it. Most people in the world take breakfast consisting of white flour and sugar products, which do not have as much nutritional value as full English. This meal yields high amounts of energy and works well for people who engage in intense physical activity or labor. Number 9. How often British people eat full English breakfast Despite being a national meal, most British people don't have full English regularly or even frequently. One main reason is that when made with proper ingredients, it's quite an expensive meal, so it's a treat for special occasions. Number 10. It's a big no for health-conscious people While full English yields high energy on consumption, it's not considered much healthy, especially for people with a lazy lifestyle. Tea is generally accepted as good for you. Fried tomatoes, mushrooms, and onions are acceptable for being vegetables. But bacon and sausage present in the full English are processed meats and increase the heart attack risk. Fried eggs also add to the fat load. 